Welcome back to Friday Night Smackdown, where tonight, in your main event, it's a restaurant quality contest. When the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, returns to action for the first time since Backlash, as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Also coming up tonight in Sin City, Santos Escobar, Dominic Mysterio, a grudge match where if Santos Escobar wins, he earns a future Cruiserweight Championship opportunity against Dominic's father, Ray. And also coming up tonight on the blue brand, the WWE Women's Tag Team Titles to be defended. Bianca Belair and Shotzi put up the gold against Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark. All tonight right here on Friday Night Smackdown. We welcome you inside the MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. And a man who made a big impact in the main event last week is in action tonight. Braun Breaker shocked us all. He's got a new leash on his career, like it or not, and he's looking to make some noise on Friday Night SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. Well, it was seven nights ago on SmackDown that Braun Breaker teamed up with the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre in a successful tag team match against the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar. But after the bell, as you see here, Braun Breaker assaulting Drew McIntyre from behind. The World Champion had no idea with what hit him, and Braun Breaker absolutely putting the hurt on the face of Friday Night SmackDown. Ron Breaker making his intentions clear. He wants a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship, and he wasn't going to ask. He was going to straight up take it from Drew McIntyre. We've yet to hear a response from the champion, but nonetheless, Braun is set for a one-on-one -on -one matchup here in Las Vegas. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph well, here comes a man who knows a lot about Braun Breaker. These two former rivals in NXT, about a year ago at this time, were trading the NXT Championship back and forth. Dolph Ziggler knows what Braun Breaker's all about. But that young man in the black singlet on the other side of the ring has grown a lot in the last 12 months. And Braun and Dolph Ziggler looking to take their old NXT rivalry right here to the blue brand tonight. It's going to be an action-packed night of SmackDown. We are on the road to Sunday night, May 14th. Our next live premiere event from Vancouver, Canada, WWE Vengeance. And here we go tonight, Braun Breaker one-on-one -on -one with Dolph Ziggler to kick things off. And what is going through the mind of Braun Breaker tonight? After that assault on Drew McIntyre seven nights ago, Braun's going to be looking to come out here, score a big-time victory tonight, and keep his momentum going ever since he debuted on SmackDown. And as we mentioned, still to come tonight in your main event, Alpha Academy's Chad Gable set to go one-on-one -on -one with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. It was in action for the very first time since he scored that big-time win over Austin Theory back in Minneapolis at Backlash. That big-time main event, so much more to come here tonight in Las Vegas as Dolph Ziggler looking to get the upper hand on Braun Breaker here, sending him into the ropes. Nice scoop and a slam by the show-off. Last few times we've seen Ziggler inside of that ring, it has been unsuccessful. And Dolph is a man who in recent months has challenged for the World Heavyweight Championship. So a win tonight for Ziggler over the man who just set his sights on Drew McIntyre could certainly put Dolph Ziggler in the conversation for a future World Championship opportunity. Oh, wait a minute, Braun Breaker full head of steam here over the top rope. Squashing Dolph Ziggler on the floor of the MGM Grand. Braun Breaker... Pulling out all stops tonight in the early going to this matchup. Looking to make quick work of the show off and just squashes him again, this time on the ring apron. Ron Breaker has yet to see defeat ever since debuting on Friday night SmackDown. A singles victory against Otis and then two tag team victories alongside Drew McIntyre. First against Alpha Academy, the other against the Viking Raiders seven nights ago. Ron in action yet again tonight against Dolph Ziggler, but you gotta wonder, is Drew McIntyre in the building? Has McIntyre set his sights on Braun Breaker in return for the assault last week? We've yet to hear from the World Heavyweight Champion, but I'm sure McIntyre knows what Braun Breaker is fully capable of. 
And McIntyre's going to be looking to even the, even the score with Braun after last week. Dolph Ziggler back into play here and in the corner, squashing Braun. Again, a win for Dolph Ziggler tonight. Could easily put him in the conversation for a future World Championship matchup. But this blue chipper, Braun Breaker off the spine buster. Look at it, end Dolph Ziggler's night on a sour note, but Ziggler gets the shoulder up. Also still to come tonight on SmackDown, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships on the line. Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark picking up their debut victory a few weeks ago and have earned themselves an opportunity against the champions Shotzi and Bianca Belair. That's coming up later tonight here on SmackDown. Ron Breaker here continuing to work over the show off Dolph Ziggler. And Ziggler's really been struggling to mount some momentum in this matchup. Couple of strikes here and there, but this has really been a flurry of offense by that young man, Braun Breaker. And Dolph's just trying to head to the outside, use the ropes to get to his feet, but Braun is on his tail and ragdolling him over the top rope and into the ring. And Dolph has got to be feeling that one. And again, this is not the first time these two men have squared off inside of the ring. Multiple matches a year ago at NXT. The veteran Dolph Ziggler, the I don't want to say rookie and Braun Breaker because he's made some noise early going, but certainly the young athlete in this matchup. But Braun muscling up Ziggler, and down he goes. And there ain't no getting up as Braun Breaker makes an impact tonight on SmackDown. Dolph Ziggler tried to throw some offense at Braun, but in the end, this was a dominating performance by Braun Breaker. And you gotta wonder after the win tonight and the assault last week, what is that? Wait a minute, wait a minute! The World Heavyweight Champion hitting the ring during the replay, and McIntyre is looking for his pound of flesh on Braun Breaker. McIntyre doesn't need to say any words. He doesn't need to ask any questions. He knows what Braun Breaker wants. That's a shot at the World Championship. But McIntyre is not going to let Braun get away with that assault seven nights ago. Oh, wait a minute here. McIntyre's coming unglued, clearing off the announce table. And I think he's got something in mind for the blue chipper Braun Breaker. The World Heavyweight Champion. Motivated as all hell tonight. Looking for retribution, but there's Braun Breaker here. Trying to escape this attack by McIntyre and a belly-to-belly -belly suplex on the outside. The brawl has ensued here in Sin City on SmackDown. As Braun sending McIntyre back into the ring. This is not a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is a fight, and McIntyre, a Claymore kick to Braun Breaker. He said, if you want to make some noise, come do it face to face. McIntyre, retribution in mind, and a second Claymore. The World Heavyweight Champion out for his pound of flesh tonight in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are back live in Las Vegas for Friday Night SmackDown. And we are set for a grudge matchup with huge implications. Dominic Mysterio still wants revenge for Santos putting him on the shelf months ago. But Santos Escobar is out to score another matchup with the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Rey Mysterio. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to Saturday night, February the 25th at WrestleMania. The last time Santos Escobar challenged Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. These two luchadors absolutely tearing the house down in Tampa Bay. But of course, in the end, Rey Mysterio digging down deep at their incredible kickoff match, the 619, helping Rey Mysterio prevail and of course walk away the Cruiserweight Champion. Ever since then, Santos Escobar has been trying to reclimb the ladder, get himself another matchup against the master of the 619. But Ray's son Dominic has come back for payback. Santos put him on the shelf a few months ago, all in the attempt to get the attention of Rey Mysterio. Now Escobar once, once again finds himself across the ring from Dominic, looking to regain a chance at the Cruiserweight Championship. 
and his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio. For Dominic Mysterio tonight, this is about retribution. A few months ago, right here on SmackDown, Dominic scored a pinfall victory over Santos Escobar. But it wasn't too far after that Santos ambushed Dominic in the backstage area not once but twice, causing Dominic to go on the shelf for a, over a month and have to nurse some injuries. Dominic was not able to be in his father's corner at WrestleMania. And of course, Mysterio already returning to action at the channel member exclusive WWE Live event, the Eve of Backlash, and unfortunately came up short against Legado Del Fantasma's Joaquin Wild. But for Mysterio tonight, no Wild, no Del Toro, and no father of his own in his corner. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Dominic Mysterio wants retribution and wants to end this issue with Legado Del Fantasma where it started on his behalf. Santos Escobar, on the other hand, looks at Dominic as a stepping stool to regain another chance at the Cruiserweight Championship and Rey Mysterio. This should be a great cruiserweight matchup right here at the MGM Grand Las Vegas, Nevada. The same building, the same city. We're back in 1997, Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero had one of the greatest wrestling matches of all time for that very cruiserweight championship. You can almost say there's very many similarities, of course, Dominic with his father, Rey, and a lot of similarities between Santos and the late great Eddie Guerrero as well. So how fitting these two men Go one-on-one -on -one yet again, all these months later, in the same building as that legendary matchup. And Dominic taking the fight to Santos Escobar tonight. I'm sure he wants to avoid having his father have to fight Santos Escobar again. Not that Rey Mysterio is willing to back down from any challenge, but it was a tough task for Rey at WrestleMania to defeat the leader of Legado Del Fantasma. A look at Dominic over the top rope to take out Santos. Dominic Mysterio coming out house of fire tonight on Escobar. Motivated as all hell is Dominic tonight. Now putting the ground and pound on the man who put him on the shelf for over a month's time. And Santos able to dodge that moonsault there. Dominic's got to be careful he doesn't get too overzealous. Does not want to cost himself the matchup by slipping up. As Dominic takes Santos Escobar out of the ring again and a Mysterio heading back to the top rope what has Dominic got in mind here? As he is throwing caution in the wind early, the crossbody takes out Escobar. Dominic Mysterio on a roll since the bell rang. Santos wants that Cruiserweight Championship rematch against Rey Mysterio, but it is not going to be an easy task as Dominic is coming out guns a-blazing tonight over Escobar. Escobar trying to avoid Dominic, and there you see there finally it would get Mysterio off him at least for a moment. Santos on the run. I think gonna try to, there you go. Attack Dominic Mysterio as we expected upon his entry into the ring in the double knees by Escobar, who is now finding himself on the offense. These two men absolutely tore down the house right here on Friday Night Smackdown about two months ago. And now the rematch all these, all these weeks later. Escobar, nice German suplex, dropping Dominic, damn near on the back of his head. And now Escobar, again, as we mentioned, finds himself in the driver's seat in this match and has Dominic already exhausted himself with that flurry of offense since the beginning of this matchup. As we mentioned, he's got to avoid mistakes in this contest as Santos goes for the cover, but Dominic gets the shoulder up at one. Santos Escobar, as we mentioned, has been on the hunt ever since WrestleMania to try to regain opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship. So far to no avail, but with Dominic Mysterio's return, Joaquin Wilde defeating Dominic back at WWE Live in Springfield on the eve of Backlash, and Santos Escobar not letting up in the pursuit to become the number one contender. It has led both of these men down this road tonight. An opportunity for both of them in their own very ways. I'm sure Rey Mysterio watching this match back in the Mysterio locker room. Looking to see if Dominic's going to gain that retribution tonight or if Rey is going to have to put the title on the line again against the leader of Legado Del Fantasma. As Escobar off the super kick, follows it up with that vintage leg drop there into the cover, but Dominic saved by the ropes. 
course, Rey Mysterio already successfully retaining his Cruiserweight Championship since WrestleMania. We saw him have an open challenge about a month ago here on Friday Night SmackDown, which was accepted by Axiom. An incredible matchup where Rey Mysterio retained the Cruiserweight Championship of the world. Look at Dominic here. Santos on the knees. Dominic delivering that short order Hurricane Rana. And now could be going for it again. Look at a knock Santos lights out here in Las Vegas. And Escobar trying to use the ropes to get his wits about him there. Dominic came charging and Escobar pulling down the top ropes. Use a little bit of that veteran experience over the naive and young Dominic Mysterio. Now Santos come at him. And just like that, in a matter of a snap of the fingers, the momentum shifts back to the Legado Del Fantasma corner. And Escobar is on pursuit of Dominic. You see Dominic is not going to go down without a fight tonight. Dominic Mysterio, as we already mentioned, motivated as can be tonight. Now look at this. Using the ropes to his advantage, Tornado DDT. And that may be all she wrote. Dominic, retribution in mind, not just yet as Escobar pops the shoulder off the canvas. And now Escobar trying to stop Dominic before he can continue to build momentum in this contest. Dominic Mysterio, I'd say, has been the aggressor for the majority of this matchup so far. A lot of defense offense out of Santos Escobar. Now Santos has got Dominic on the top rope. What has he got in mind here? Oh, wait a minute. Could be going for a Frankensteiner sending Mysterio halfway across the ring. And Dominic rolling to the outside, trying to get his wits about him. But Escobar, just like that, taking momentum to his corner. And here's Santos with a suicide dive. Takes out Dominic again. This is where Escobar operates on a better level than almost anyone in the cruiserweight division. He's a former multiple-time cruiserweight champion. He held that gold from April to June of last year and has really been on the pursuit ever since to regain it. As Escobar stomping a mud hole in Dominic Mysterio on the outside of the ring here. And Dominic, you see, he's just not getting to his feet at the current moment. Escobar may have flipped the switch, may finally have this match in his grasp. Dominic Mysterio down and out, even after Escobar rolling him in, in, in the ring. And now Santos going for the top rope, looking to put the final nail in this matchup. Elbow to the back of Dominic, and that may be all she wrote. Escobar. Wrapping up Mysterio here, cradles him into the pinfall, and that may do it. Dominic survives. And it's not over yet. An incredible cruiserweight matchup from the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City is rocking for Friday Night SmackDown. Escobar hits the ropes, hits the leg drop again. Dominic may have kicked out, but how much does that young man have left in the tank? Santos Escobar, obviously the veteran of this contest. More experience going the distance in matchups like these. Can Dominic dig down deep, however? Getting Santos to his feet. Look at this, Dominic's unloading on Santos Escobar right now. And now Dominic, wait a minute. I think Dominic, look at this, taking it back. A little bit in his own ways to Halloween Havoc 1997. Except this time the pop-up, the Hurricane Rana, and Santos cutting him off again before Dominic can take back control. Dominic Mysterio trying to throw anything in the kitchen sink at the leader of Legado del Fantasma. But Escobar may be just as motivated as Dominic is for retribution. Santos wants that Cruiserweight Championship match more than anything. The matchup rolls on, but that was some incredible offense out of Dominic Mysterio there. Unfortunately, unable to really capitalize on it. Now Dominic is down on the canvas again, and Escobar's heading to the top. And here comes Santos off the splash. Dominic has got to be feeling it right now. Santos Escobar may be closing in on victory. Going behind, German suplex again. Dominic rolling to the outside after that vicious assault by Santos Escobar in the midst of this matchup. 
And I don't know if Dominic, his tank may be running on E right now. The early moments of this matchup, I'd say first few minutes really belong to Dominic Mysterio, but Santos Escobar has really changed the pattern of this fight. Escobar has been the aggressor the last few moments. Dominic is simply surviving, but how long can he continue to survive in this matchup? Referees at a count of four. Santos does not give a damn how he walks away with victory tonight. As long as he walks away, the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. Dominic able to get his way back into the ring, but you see Escobar right there. Not allowing Dominic to even attempt to build momentum, but Dominic avoids it. And Dominic crashes and burns off the drop kick. Escobar may have this match in his grasp. Dominic Mysterio on spaghetti legs, but there's another kick. Dominic Mysterio's trying to build some momentum. Off the reversals here. Is Dominic about to kick into another level? Is Dominic about to kick into a new gear and finish off this match on behalf of his father, on behalf of himself? Sit out with the spine buster, and Dominic is not done just yet. Look at this. Code red on Escobar. Here comes Mysterio. Dominic has not forgotten about the assault by Escobar in the backstage area a few months ago. And there's a counter by Escobar. Escobar reaching out. Dominic gets hung up in the top rope. And Santos again heading to the top rope as Dominic's down. Frog splash! Eddie Guerrero-esque. Right here in Sin City. And Mysterio kicks out again. What a matchup we are witnessing right now at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Las Vegas showing their appreciation for Dominic and hell even Santos Escobar. Cannot believe the offense that Mysterio is withstanding these last few minutes as he continues to keep swinging and Escobar has really utilized those super kicks throughout this matchup. And oh no. On the shoulders, Phantom Driver. Escobar into the cover. And Santos Escobar has secured himself a WrestleMania rematch against Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. That was a hell of a match. Dominic gave it all he had. Nothing to be ashamed of for that young man. He will live to fight another day against Santos Escobar. Here is your winner, Santos Escobar. The question now is, will Santos Escobar be able to right the wrong in his mind of WrestleMania and become the new Cruiserweight Champion? The action continues tonight in Sin City with a rematch from two weeks ago as Indy Hartwell battles Shayna Baszler plus J.D. McDonough versus Axiom. And the results of those contests see Shayna Baszler going 2-0 against Indy Hartwell here on SmackDown plus J.D. McDonough. With the help of Drew Gulak in his corner, getting the win over Axiom, will McDonough and Gulak be a new unit to look out for here on SmackDown? Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting set for our WWE Women's Tag Team Championship matchup. The challengers who were successful in their SmackDown debut a few weeks ago against Dakota Kai and Io Sky, Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark set to go 2v2 against the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Shotzi and Bianca Belair who are making their very first defense since winning the gold back on WrestleMania Saturday on February 25th. And here comes the ballsy badass herself, former women's champion, breakout star of 2022, Shotzi. And although this is the first championship defense since they defeated Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell back at WrestleMania, Shotzi and Bianca already getting a tag team match, a tag team victory under their belt. About a month ago here on SmackDown, they were successful against Casey Catanzaro and Caden Carter, 
And now Shotzi and Bianca Belair back in action tonight with some new challengers afoot. And their titles will be at stake for the very first time. It's been a great night of action so far here in Las Vegas already tonight. Santos Escobar tearing down the house with Dominic Mysterio. And Santos Escobar earning himself a future cruiserweight championship opportunity against Rey Mysterio. And of course, still to come tonight in your main event, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes one-on-one -on -one with Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Cannot wait to get to our main event. What about what kicked off the show? Braun Breaker dominating performance over Dolph Ziggler, but afterwards really told the story. Drew McIntyre coming back for vengeance, laying out Braun Breaker with not one but two Claymore kicks in that very ring. Cannot wait to see what is next for McIntyre, Braun Breaker, the whole situation regarding the World Heavyweight title here on SmackDown. But here comes the partner of the Ballsy Badass Shotzi, the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair. Two former women's champions coming together to take down a common enemy at WrestleMania when Tegan Knox fell with injury. Shotzi was in need of a tag team partner and out came an old rival in the EST Bianca Belair and they have clicked as a tag team ever since. Walking away from the grandest stage of them all back in February with the gold. And as we mentioned, they've been successful ever since that night. But will they be successful on tonight of all nights? The most important night thus far. Their very first championship defense against two young, hungry challengers, Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark. The EST and the Ballsy Badass set to put the gold on the line. Right here tonight, MGM Grand Garden Arena. Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City getting a treat with the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship on the line. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, Zoe Stark and Nikita Lions. And their opponents, they are the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Shotzi and Bianca Belair. It is a big fight feel here in Sin City for the gold. Bianca and Shotzi handing over the championships for the first time since winning them. And will it be the last time they are handing over the titles? Will we be leaving Sin City with brand new Tag Team Champions of the Women's Division and Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons? Very impressive in their debut a few weeks ago. Zoe Stark knocking out Dakota Kai in that very ring. And she's looking to do the same to Shotzi and possibly Bianca Belair tonight. Very prestigious women's tag team championships that have really gained a lot of new prestige ever since we crowned new champions back in the fall. An eight-woman tag team tournament that culminated at Survivor Series. Of course, those championships were won by Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell, who held them from Thanksgiving night all the way till WrestleMania, where they met their match in Shotzi and Bianca Belair. And we have seen the tag teams in the women's division tearing down the house, as it looks like these four ladies are going to do right now, all in the means of winning the women's tag team titles. Shotzi back of the ring, Zoe Stark right there. Snap suplex on the champion. Zoe looking to bring it home and what a win it could be for Lions and Stark and only their second ever match here on SmackDown to become champions, especially over two very successful women, especially over the last year, and Shotzi and Bianca Belair. Oh, look at this, Shotzi. My goodness, dropping Zoe Stark with the DDT on the ring apron. Shotzi looking to knock out Zoe Stark before Starks gets the chance to do the same. That was a vicious DDT. And you see Zoe Stark sent back into the ring and getting the tag before Shotzi could try to follow it up. Nikita Lyons in. And Shotzi going to tag in Bianca Belair. I definitely have to say the two stronger competitors of each of these duos, Shotzi and Zoe Stark, excuse me, probably your more agile and faster of the two. But nonetheless, Nikita Lyons working over the EST right now. 
Just imagine if we have new women's tag team champions tonight. Keto Lions whiffing that kick. Bianca coming from behind. Oh, look at the strength out of the EST. Fall away slam by Bianca Belair. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to remind you the next time we come your way for a channel member exclusive live event, Saturday night, May 13th, on the eve of WWE Vengeance. And so much more to come on that very event, including a WWE Tag Team Championship match on behalf of the champions Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. That is coming your way, as we mentioned, on the eve of Vengeance. Saturday night, May the 13th, only available for channel members. You can hit the join button down below, become a member, receive access to the event a few weeks ago in Springfield, Illinois, and all future events. As this women's tag team championship match continues here on SmackDown, we are going to take a short break, ladies and gentlemen. Who is leaving Las Vegas? The WWE Women's Tag Team Champions of the World. We'll be right back. Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We're back live on SmackDown, and we're in the midst of a WWE Women's Tag Team Championship matchup. The challengers, Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons, taking on the reigning and defending champions, Shotzi and Bianca Belair. We are live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a Sin City edition of Friday Night SmackDown, as Shotzi is in and working over Zoe Stark. Zoe Stark and Nikita Lyons earning this matchup a few weeks ago in their debut victory over Dakota Kai and Io Sky. This is the first time Belair and Shotzi are defending the gold since winning the back at WrestleMania. A few weeks ago, they were victorious over Katana Chance and Caden Carter. Meanwhile, Zoe Stark looking at knockout Shotzi with that super kick heard round Nevada. But Shotzi able to pop the shoulder off the canvas. Zoe Stark not letting her foot off the gas pedal here. Continuing to assault one half for the women's tag team champions as she tags in the Kita Lions, looking to get some fresh legs in this matchup. Shotzi avoiding the strike from Lions. Here comes Shotzi. Underneath Dodge. Neckbreaker there by one half of the champs. Who is going to leave Sin City tonight? The women's tag team champions. Meanwhile, Shotzi muscling up Nikita Lions, obviously the stronger competitor. But Shotzi showing some deep down muscle, showing some strength, not able to put her away just there, but certainly some damage done on one half of the challengers. What about what happened this past Monday Night on Raw, the eight woman matchup to determine Asuka's new number one contender. As we found out, Liv Morgan winning that battle royal. She will fight Asuka at vengeance for the gold. Meanwhile, Bianca KOD on the Kita Lions. And that may be all she wrote. Bianca into the cover to retain the gold. That'll do it. Bianca Belair muscling up the Kita Lions and dropping her with that KOD. And the tag team championships of the women's division remain in the grasp of the ballsy badass Shotzi and the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair. Great effort by the challengers, but in the end, the gold remains with the same two women they walked in with. Here are your winners, and still, WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Bianca Belair and Shotzi. Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark fall to the champions here tonight in Sin City, but who will be next to step up for a shot at the Women's Tag Team Championship gold? Well, after Drew McIntyre hit the ring earlier tonight, he took to Twitter and had this to say, Braun, if you wanted a shot, all you had to do was ask. But since you wanted to make some noise on my behalf, come to Vengeance and I'll make you famous. McIntyre throwing out the gauntlet and the World Heavyweight Championship 
officially signed for vengeance as McIntyre puts the gold on the line in a first time ever one-on-one -on -one matchup against the blue chipper of SmackDown, Braun Breaker. And this matchup for Vengeance signed earlier tonight as well. Santos Escobar earning himself a WrestleMania rematch. The Cruiserweight Championship's on the line. Escobar battles Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight title. And what about what we found out seven nights ago on SmackDown? Coming up at Vengeance, the United States Championship on the line as well as Gunta defends the title against the new number one contender, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And speaking of AJ Styles, coming up next week on SmackDown, he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with one-third of Imperium. Ludwig Kaiser, with Giovanni Vinci in his corner, looks to take away some momentum from the Phenomenal One. And also coming your way next week on the blue brand, the World Heavyweight Champion, Drew McIntyre, is back in action as he battles an old friend, and most importantly, an old rival in the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal, next week on SmackDown. But as for tonight in Las Vegas, it is main event time. The American Nightmare scored a big time victory back in Minneapolis at Backlash in the WrestleMania rematch against Austin Theory. In his mind, Cody Rhodes righted that wrong of Tampa Bay back in February. And now Cody with a new leash on life set to finally move forward on Friday Night SmackDown, and it all starts tonight in a one-on-one -on -one matchup in the main event against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. This is gonna be a great wrestling matchup here on Friday Night SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes has had a lot of wrestling history in Las Vegas, and especially in this very building, the MGM Grand. He's back inside it tonight, set to go one on one with Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. And as we just mentioned, it should be a great wrestling affair in your Friday Night SmackDown main event. Cody made his return to WWE back at WrestleMania unsuccessfully against Austin Theory. Cody Rhodes writing that wrong back at Backlash, defeating Theory in the WrestleMania rematch. Add that victory on to other victories recently for, Ch or excuse me, for Cody Rhodes against Johnny Gargano, one against JD McDonough. Will he get another one against Chad Gable here tonight? as Alpha Academy makes their way to the ring. And his opponent, accompanied by Otis, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Well, the luck has not been on the side of Alpha Academy as of late. Some recent losses to Braun Breaker and Drew McIntyre, but will tonight be the night where Alpha Academy, and in this case, Chad Gable, turns it around? This is really one of those matches that can launch your career to the next level. An even playing field between Gable and Cody Rhodes. No bad blood, just a simple wrestling matchup with momentum moving forward on the line. And you see the championship matches that are lined up for Sunday night, May the 14th, AJ Styles and Gunther for the United States title, Drew McIntyre and Braun Breaker officially set for the SmackDown main event of Vengeance for the World Championship. Well, come out of Vengeance, those champions are gonna need some number one contenders. As we talk about all the time, wins and losses matter around these parts and each and every victory gets you one step closer to a championship opportunity. All remains to be seen in due time who will be next up for gold after the Vengeance live premiere event. But nonetheless, Chad Gable taking the fight to Cody Rhodes as your main event here in Las Vegas is underway. I want to thank you for joining us so far tonight. Been a great night of action on Friday Night SmackDown, as it always is. You aren't going to find better action, better stories in any other universe than right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button down below if you want access to exclusive perks, including
including our next WWE live event on the eve of vengeance, be sure to hit the join button and become a Premium Pass channel member. Cody Rhodes taking the fight to Chad Gable. And Gable, belly to belly on the American Nightmare. What about the contests that are already signed for next week here on SmackDown? AJ Styles going one-on-one -on -one with Ludwig Kaiser. Styles looking to continue to build momentum towards his match with Gunther at Vengeance. One-third of Imperium looking to stray AJ Styles off the path. And the World Heavyweight Champion, the man who hit Braun Breaker with not one but two Claymore kicks earlier this evening. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with Jinder Mahal next week on SmackDown. Two big matches, so much more coming your way in just seven nights. What about this Monday night on Raw? The Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Going to be in action on the red brand for the first time in how many years as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn. That is going to be a very interesting matchup coming up this Monday night. Nonetheless, Cody Rhodes taking the fight to Chad Gable. Gable started out strong in this matchup, but Cody Rhodes, after that win against Austin Theory, is not going to be looking to fall back down the pedestal here on SmackDown. You gotta wonder what is next for Cody Rhodes, if he can get the victory over Chad Gable tonight. Will Cody Rhodes be looking for a championship opportunity? Maybe Cody wants to have a shot at Gunther in the United States title. Maybe Cody wants to have a shot at whoever leaves Vengeance as the World Heavyweight Champion. Or we could say the same about Chad Gable. If Chad Gable picks up the win tonight, could easily start building some momentum for himself. Gable, I'm sure, would love to run things back against Ron Breaker, against Drew McIntyre. He took Drew McIntyre to the limit a couple of weeks ago. Almost had him beat on a few occasions. Don't underestimate Chad Gable. He could easily step up to McIntyre or Ron Breaker or Guther or AJ Styles, whoever leaves vengeance for championship gold. Oh, he rose nice scoop and a slam on Gable. Oh, wait a minute here. I think Otis slid that steel chair in the ring, trying to take the distraction. Luckily, the referee still had his eyesight on the matchup. Kind of the pinfall, but not enough. Alpha Academy, as talented as they are, not afraid to use a couple of underhanded tactics are Gable and Otis. Nice suplex there by Gable. Into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet. And again, we want to remind you the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it'll be 5 p.m. Eastern time, Sunday night. May 14th, just a couple of weeks away, we'll be at the Rogers Arena, Vancouver, Canada. We are heading to British Columbia in the north for WWE Vengeance. It's going to be a great, great night of action. This match card has already really taken shape and is already looking to be fantastic. Possibly get a one-up backlash and Gable off the triple suplex is looking to put Cody away. Not just yet. And Chad Gable... Looking to get Van... I almost said Vancouver. We'll be in Vancouver in a couple of weeks. Looking to get Vegas behind him as Otis taking Cody's eye off the ball. And Gable coming from behind. Double underhook. German suplex into the bridge. Full Nelson suplex, I should say. Excuse me. But nonetheless, not enough to put Cody away. You see Gable's trying for those frequent pinfalls there. Not enough to keep the American Nightmare down. Cody off the Bulldog. Springboard, disaster kick, and down goes Master Gable. Will Cody Rhodes continue his momentum tonight? Go four straight victories since being assigned to Friday Night SmackDown and coming up short at WrestleMania. Or will Chad Gable bounce back and really get the upset over the American Nightmare? All remains to be seen as Cody, look at this muscle, has got Gable above his head. Down he goes for that super duper suplex. And again, Otis is starting to stick his nose in a little too much here. One time's enough. Cody's got to keep his eyes on this matchup because Otis is mouthing off to the American Nightmare. And this is exactly what Gable needs to get back into this matchup. Taking Cody down and just throwing his body as a weapon. But don't count out the American Nightmare. Don't count out Gable either. Cody trying to get to his feet. Chad Gable continuing the offense there. And how many suplexes, how many throws is Alpha Academy's Master Gable going to throw at Cody Rhodes in this matchup? Cody to his feet. Gable whipping him off here. Just looking to victimize his opponent. And Cody with the counter there. Nice elbow to Gable. Springboard by Cody looking for the moonsault and he hits it. 
And Cody Rhodes after the distraction by Otis and the offense by Gable. Looking to piece together some offense here and get back into this match. Cody going for the suicide dive, but nobody home. Cody Rhodes falling by the wayside like a car wreck on the side of the road. And Chad Gable's looking to pick the parts. Down goes Cody again. Cody may have thrown caution in the wind. And may have cost himself victory. Chad Gable not able to take advantage there. They've been gloating a little too much as Cody Rhodes trying to get back into this thing. Grappling up Gable. Now Chad coming from behind and sending Cody right into the steel steps. And Gable back into the ring as Cody Rhodes is laying lifeless on the outside. Count of eight, Cody Rhodes is about a second away from getting counted out here. Oh, wait a minute, count of nine, but Cody's on the apron. He's looking to bring Gable to the outside with him. Suplex down to the floor. That'll one, that's one way to break the count. Instead of Cody going in, he brought Gable out. Muscle and Chad over the top rope from the ring apron and down to the floor. And that's certainly going to shift the tides in this matchup. And Cody may have found himself near victory right now. Oh no, going underneath. Looking for that. Verta breaker on Chad Gable. A maneuver that has put away several opponents in the past. Will that do it? No. Gable getting the shoulder up and the damage has got to be done. Oh, wait a minute. And again, Otis like clockwork trying to take up the American Nightmare's eye off the ball. And Gable coming from behind, sending Cody into the corner. And that may be the last ditch effort out of Alpha Academy. But here comes Cody. He knows he hit that vertebraker. He knows Gable's hurt and send him into the ring post there for good measures. And Cody again. Delivering the knee. Gable's all kinds of dazed. There's Cody with a little bit of vintage Rhodes action right there. And oh, wait a minute, Gable gave his back to Cody. And Cody delivering the crossroads. That'll do it. Cody Rhodes has bounced back in a huge way ever since that initial loss in WrestleMania. Johnny Gargano. J.D. McDonough, Austin Theory, now Chad Gable. Cody Rhodes is on a roll here on Friday Night SmackDown. What a win tonight in Sin City. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes picking up yet another impressive victory, and you got to wonder what is next on the agenda for the American. Wait a minute. Cody Rhodes was leaving the ring. Austin Theory just came from the crowd and Theory is assaulting the American Nightmare. We thought this ended at Backlash, but clearly not. Austin Theory was upset by Cody Rhodes. And after Theory won at WrestleMania, the man from A-Town may be looking to settle the score once and for all. Theory laying out Cody here tonight in Las Vegas. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.